no missing teeth on the flywheel that I can see and there was none on the bottom side either oh. hi there guys so I didn't really want to have to make this video but we're here now uh, I was out in the van two weekends ago and had the van just sitting idling charging the battery and the engine has completely locked up I've had the auxiliary belt off tried to turn the crankshaft and it won't rock back or forward at all so I've checked the timing belt the timing belt's not snapped checked the starter motor as the starter was making some horrific noises didn't sound very healthy got that pulled out it was still working but I'm going to replace that anyway but I think we could have dropped the valve so the quickest and easiest way to go about it is pulling this rocker cover off and see see what's happening on the top side so I've just loosened off these injectors and not very often that you can just pull them out by hand so I'm really pleased with that first one we'll see how the rest of them go though last injectors now out looking pretty grimy in the holes again but they're out bloody great now I can get this rocker cover off and just get a final answer whether it's top end or bottom end and I know where I stand. So, having a look at this valve train here, straight away, I can see what looks to be a drop tappet there, and that could have been the cause of the problem. But I need to get in a bit further and see what's going on. See if there's any other ones look like they're out of place, or if it's just that one there. But that's a good sign to find something loose straight away on the top end. Hmm. No broken bolts yet though. Got the injectors out, got the rocket cover off. None of the valves seem to be dropped. So that's hopeful that it won't have destroyed the pistons or the camshafts. So at the moment, there's a tappet there that's dropped out of place. See that next to it, it's higher up. 
So that could be an issue, but I don't think that would have caused the problem, like, because that's just rattling around there. It's not actually come out, it's just a loose sleeve. So hopefully it's bottom end bearings, and I can just drop the oil pan and be fucking done. So after dropping this oil pan, you can see here the telltale signs of a failed shell or a damaged big end bearing and the engine is still locked up so that's a good indicator that the bearing has disintegrated as you can see lots of parts of white metal there in the bottom of the oil tray so at the moment i have now got the top end off check the top end we've got one loose tappet here or a damaged tappet that is not in place where it should be the little cap is loose but that's on cylinder one and it's actually cylinder two that's had the failed bottom end bearing but what's happened is the one of the bolts has actually come loose um, and it's, well, it's gradually worked itself loose and then s snapped and the bottom of the conrod has locked the crankshaft in place so i'll get underneath now and show you a better look at that so i've been getting into this engine here to find the culprit of it locking up and I'm now in the bottom end here and as you can see it is it's dropped a bolt out of one of piston 2's con rods there and that has locked the engine up in place so you can see the piston there uh, the, the con rod is wedged in place so i'm going to try and get that knocked out of place see if i can get the engine to turn over and see how bad the damage to the crankshaft is if any I'm suspecting it will be not what i wanted to find but at least i found the culprit so we've now got that loosened off and as you can see the Conrod bearings have slipped due to one of the bolts either snapping or getting loose and then dropping out. So the bearings have spun and completely wedged the engine in place. But I'm going to now remove this. I just wanted to get some footage of it before I do. I'll actually try and pull it out while I'm filming. In a right bad spot. I might try and see if I can get the engine to turn over now, but there's one bearing. And the top one's actually stuck in place still. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, so those bearings are absolutely cooked. And the crankshaft is... Well, I'd be surprised if I'll be able to clean that up feels like hopefully it could be the bearing material just built up on the surface but I suspect it's damaged the journal so now that's out of place will that piston move at all that's a question can I get the engine to rotate So as you can see now, I've got this bottom end conrod out, you can see the damage to the bearing surface there on the conrod, it's just absolutely cooked, and the journal on the crankshaft as well, it doesn't look very good. So, I've been having a good little hunt around to see what has actually 
got this engine locked up and where was that? In here. See if I can actually get the camera to focus but ah, probably not. Can I get you? So, I don't know if we're going to get it. There you go. Hopefully you'll be able to make out there. That is the Conrod retaining bolt completely jammed between the crankshaft and the engine case. It's going to have to come apart completely probably need a new crankshaft. I doubt I'll be able to even get that bolt out. It looks like it's well jammed in there. So that's the end of this saga for the moment.